Hi, welcome to Put Away Items in Dynamics Math. Let's now analyze the different physical transactions that we can have with items. And let's start with the receipt and the put away. I'll use the slide explained in the Setting Up Basic Warehousing video. Here we can see the slide is based on my receipt and put away activities, based on the requirements that we have in a specific location. In this video, I will show you an example of where we will start with receiving and putting away items from the purchase order using a bin. Let's start with looking at how we can receive and put away items from the purchase order. I'll use location silver for this example because it's set up with the bin mandatory field selected. So I'm going to use the search function and pull up my list of purchase orders so I can create a new purchase order for vendor 50,000. I'm going to enter in a vendor invoice number. I'll go to the shipping section and enter silver in the location field because that's the only location with bin mandatory. So now I'll enter in some items. The first item I'll be entering in is called LS75, which are loudspeakers. And I'll use, I'll enter in a quantity of four. I'm also going to enter in another item, which is item 7000. I believe are side panels with a quantity of 250. And then say a couple days later, we receive the items from the vendor. Since we have selected the silver location, the receipt or the put away is not required, but we'll still receive the order. So I'll just receive these items as if I wasn't using warehouse management. However, if I try to post, you'll see now that I'll get an error telling me that the system needs a bin. Because Location Silver has been set up with bin mandatory, we should also assign out the bins when the items come in stock. So let's look at the two items that we have. So right now I'm paying attention to the bin code field. And for the first item, there's not a problem because this item has a fixed bin. But for the second item, the system doesn't know where we want to place it. So we should specify which bin we want to place the item in. We're going to place these side panels in bin S41. So S41. If I try to post again and click on receive, you'll see that it's posted. You'll also see that the status has changed from open to release. So let's have a look at the receipt. And if you click on navigate, you will see that the system didn't only create item ledger entries, but also value entries. And that's because the bin is now mandatory. If I click on warehouse entries, this is based on the warehouse entries that the system keeps track of, of where the items are placed. You can see now that the the loudspeakers are located in bin S11, and that the 250 side panels are located in bin S41. So that's the results of using the bin. And that concludes how to receive and put away items using a purchase order in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.